Hello, my Leo friends, and welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for the 20th through the 22nd for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain in the video, but it is, we're in severe thunderstorm warnings here, and it is just that I love rainstorms. I just hope the flooding stays away. All right. Here we go. Leo's in love for the 20th through the 27th. All right. I'll pull both energies here. So pick a side. Whatever side you resonate with is uh, the side for you. And then um, the other side will be who you're dealing with. Bottom of the deck is your overall energy. So on one side, we got judgment in reverse. Well, here I'll do the overall energy first. We got the two of swords in the reverse, clarified by the hermit in reverse, and the queen of pentacles in the upright. So somebody is making a decision after coming out of a time of um, going within, of figuring out what it is that they want. And when they came out of this, uh, this hermit stage, they most definitely um, are vibrating very high. They look really good, stable, grounded, um, just everything that is on point for this person because they are on their spiritual path, their journey. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign or an air sign as well. But um, one of you is um, not done dealing with their karma, not done dealing with the things that they have to answer for in this life and past lives as well. The other side has the seven of swords in reverse, no longer um, accepting less than what they deserve. They could have been a third party. Um, and now they're no longer uh, putting up with being the option, having to sneak around with this person. Because when they went within, they realized they deserve way more than that. On this side, the princess of cups. So um, really emotionally drained, um, waiting for somebody to come back to you to make an offer. Um, or this person was the person with the third party. And they need to go within before they come and offer this person. But it's not going to happen yet because this person still has karma to deal with. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there was something going on. Um, yeah, most definitely. Uh, Could have started at work, but doesn't have to for, for most of you. This is just a third party situation that didn't work out. It blew up in in your in somebody's face this side queen of swords in reverse yeah so this person has done uh cut out a lot of people out of their life um but there's still more purging to do there's still more to get rid of there is a block in this person's path to um coming together the ten of wands in reverse so yeah, this person's ending a cycle as well. Um, for such great cards up here, you guys got a lot of issues going on. Um, this person's coming to the end of the cycle. They're no longer carrying the burden of uh, this third party, of cheating, sneaking around, um, whatever the situation was. Um, they're no longer going to continue down this path. They're getting ready to walk away. Um, on the other side, this person is, uh, <clears throat> they're taking some time to themselves. They, uh, they need to really think about things. They're looking at life at all aspects, all view vantage points, all viewpoints. Um, and they're going to make, they're going to pick one sword. You see the sword down here that they chose to lay down with is the same sword of making the decision. Once the both, the swords are in the ground, you can only pull one back up. You have to choose one. That's the one that they are thinking about. Um, yeah, the other side, wow, 10 of cups, that's a good turn for the best. Um, yeah, this person is, is no longer putting up with this third party of sneaking around. They are telling the other person, I'm done. I can't handle this. Um, I can't be that. I can't do this. Uh, as soon as that cycle ends, as soon as you put your foot down and no longer allow yourself to be the third party. They come in for you. 
this person, uh, love is blocking them and they can't offer their cup to just one because they got their energy is spread out too far. So they have to start purging. This person is going to tell them, nope, no more. I'm done. I'm not going to be this third party anymore. I'm not going to do that to myself or the other person um, in this situation. Uh, that is causing this person to go deep, to think. That's the person that has the decision is the person on this side. So um, they are thinking, they're in this hermit phase uh, of, oh my goodness, of the situation. When they are done coming to the conclusion, thinking, finding their spiritual center, they're going to choose love. They're going to choose love. The second person, the third party, um, they are going to offer this love and, and this side is going to be the receiving end of it because you put your foot down. You refuse to, and it can't be like, oh, I refuse to, um, I refuse to sneak around anymore. But yet when they call the next day, you're willing to sneak around. You have to honestly mean it. And when you do, when you take yourself out of that energy, this is what you get. Last card for this side. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Wands. Amazing. Look at how this ends. The Ace of Cups, Ace of uh, Wands. You two are both choosing love and passion. And wow. You guys have come a long ways. Um, and this week, you're going to come from the judgment being in reverse and the Seven of Swords, all the way to the Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. This person's going to offer their love and desire and everything to them, give, completing this person, making it the Ten of Cups. And in exchange, this person is offering a passionate new beginning, a new start, wiping the slate clean and going forward with love and desire. And this, you guys both are choosing each other. You're choosing love. You're moving forward. Um, and this is going to bring in so much stability, so much love, nurturing, caring. Um, so yeah, this person has to put their foot down. This person will, um, be forced to then go within, um, think about what they really want and they will choose love and they will offer that to that person. All right, here we go. Leo's Leo's Leo's. All right. First card out is honeymoon. So, um, enjoy the bliss of the holiday together. And that doesn't mean it has to be a holiday holiday, just taking some time out for each other, spending time away from the general public, away from friends, away from family. Um, even if it's just staying two days locked in your house, watching nothing but Netflix movies and spending time together, enjoy the time it is coming for you. And this is a past life relationship. This is a soulmate. You have known each other before. And that's why the connection has been so real, so um, amazing. And your guys' advice card. What is Leo's advice for this week, please? And thank you. Gaia's Garden. Fruition, abundance, and reaping what you sow. I will read out of the book for this one because I like to give credit to the author, Colette Barrett-Reed. She does an amazing job describing each card. So um, with this card, you have everything you need to make your dreams come true. There is no shortage of anything, and you're constantly reminded of the law of supply. Gaia is the infinite spirit manifest in all tangible things. She represents the abundance of nature. When she comes to you as your ally, she invites you to partake in all the blessings of life. There will always be enough for everybody. Success comes to you from the fruits of your intentions as well as with the wor world as a result. This is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as the greatest good now manifests in your life. Gaia's gifts are sweeter than when you share them with others. All right, Leo, that's what I got for you this week. Amazing reading. Started out a little iffy, but um, it ends in a abundance of blessings and new beginnings. So have a beautiful week. I'll see you next time. Love, light, and God bless.